Hi, Rose here, formerly of No Filter, now solo doing Ask Rose on the No Filter channel. And today I want to talk to you about the ways we can keep our children safe in today's world. It's not like when I grew up. When I grew up, I could drive down, ride, drive. I didn't drive. I could ride down the street on my bicycle, no problem. And my parents didn't worry about me. They made sure to tell me to be home before it got dark, before the street lights came on, and they didn't worry about me. I used to go for hours and play in the woods. No problem. Today's world. So you hear these stories, right? People going to Walmart saying, he was following me and he was eyeing my children and this and that and the other and, and they're scared and they're, they're they posted it on social media so they want to warn others, right? Well, first of all, you're not defenseless. Defenseless. You're not in defenseless. public. You are not defenseless. If someone is following you or your child in Walmart, turn around, stare at them, let them know you've seen their face. Tell them to back off or you're calling security or you got 911 on speed dial, right? You're not defenseless, people. That's the first thing you need to do. Stand up for yourself, stand up for your children. Okay? So always be aware and your surround of your surroundings in public. That's the first thing. And stand up for yourself. If someone's following you, turn around and face them, letting them know you saw them. You have seen their face, right? Got that? Tell them to stop, then tell them that you are calling security or the police. You are not defenseless. In fact, if you act scared, you become a walking target. Walk tall and confidently. Show that you are not a victim. Right? Don't walk around like this. Keeping your head to the ground. Don't do that. Walk confidently. If there's a sketchy vehicle parked next to yours in the parking lot, what do you do? Avoid your vehicle. Avoid it. You've heard of people putting things on your windshield. Get that off when you get home. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's waiting for you to get out of your vehicle and take that piece of paper off. Okay? It's not that important. Let it fly to the wind. It's probably an advertisement. If it's real, that is. So anyway, if you're not confident, comfortable going to your car because something feels funny and trust your instincts every time, call security of the store or call 911, whatever you feel comfortable with. All right, while you're in the store or while you're in a park, anywhere out in public, always keep your children close and explain to them why they cannot go away from you in the store or in public or in a park, anywhere. Talk to them about the dangers of kidnapping and kidnapping prevention, okay? Keep the lines of communication open all the time. Don't take anything for granted that they might know. In fact, tell them don't take anything from strangers ever. And also tell them that kids don't need, I mean, adults don't need help from kids. They just don't. Go find an adult adult. Don't let them fall for that. Keep them that. Tell them. Keep your friends close and in large numbers. A large number of children together are less likely to be picked out by a predator. Okay? All right. I've heard of um, these sex traffickers offering a job, like an odd job to a child. If you'll come help me pick up sticks in my yard, I'll pay you $10 an hour or whatever. Tell them to decline, to decline any odd job offer. Okay? It's simple. Tell them in situations where they're uncomfortable that speed and noise are the key to safety. In other words, run and scream, yell, help, whatever it takes. Speed and noise, speed and noise. Um, establish a plan of action with your child, which would include the speed and noise. In other words, um, if you're walking home from school, uh, somebody's following you, knock on the nearest door. Go to the nearest house and knock on the nearest door. 
Hopefully somebody will be home. If not, go to the next house and go to the next house. In other words, you want to get as far away of, of being alone as possible. Okay? All right. Teach them to protect themselves in those ways. Teach them that but body parts are private. Now here we go into um, predators that are family members. Okay, or siblings, or step-siblings, or friends of the family, or dad's best friend, Uncle Bernie. Yeah, these people have no business uh, touching or talking to your child or taking pictures of your child's body parts. Okay? In fact, no adult should be taking pictures of your children without your permission and tell them that. That's boundaries. Um, body secrets, if they have body secrets, like somebody um, leaned over and grabbed my thigh, that is not okay. That's a body secret. They need to tell you things. That's keeping that lines of communication open. Also, if somebody is not paying attention to them when they ask for help, tell them to keep asking for help until they get it. Okay? All right, um, I'm reading my little teleprompter here. I'm sorry. This is my first show back by myself on Ask Rose, so bear with me. Um, when in public, have a code word or a phrase. should be something funny and easily remembered by your child. This helps the child know that a person is safe. What do I mean by that? Say, um, you're at a park, and it's an open area, and you're watching from a park bench, right? And you see your cousin Joe walk up, and he says, Hey, Rose, how you doing? Which one's your kid? I'd love to say hello. Well, my kid's over there on the uh, monkey bars, right? So you shout to your kid, Hey! Dream on! I don't know. It'd be a funny way to say it. It's a code word for that person's safe. Okay? Don't forget to tell them it's okay to yell, scream, cry, or say no. And, um... Instead of putting a name on your child's backpack, try putting their initials for identifying purposes. Okay. Regularly check your neighborhood national sex registry for uh, any sex offenders that may have moved into your neighborhood. Okay. You can search by name, uh, date, street address, area of town, community. Uh, and you keep your children away from those areas. You say, no, you cannot go in this area or that area. Okay? That website's www.n, as in national, s, as in sex offenders, I mean, s-o, as in sex offenders, n-s-o-p-w. I think that's national sex offenders predator something. I don't know. Anyways, www.n-s-o-p-w dot gov g o v okay teach your kids safety push someone's hand away if they make you feel uncomfortable you order the person to stop leave get away from the person as soon as possible this is what you're telling your children and also tell them if it makes them uncomfortable then it's probably wrong you can find more at www.kidpower.org okay Here's something I mentioned earlier about um, predators can be um, family members, friends of the family, Uncle Bernie, um, step siblings, older siblings. Um, I mean, yeah. predators go deep, okay? And they're usually really kind to your child and they want to spend time with their child and they ask you if they can take your child places. Make sure you know what someone is doing with your child, okay? I mean, if they're going somewhere, you need to know where they're going. You need to know what they're doing. You need to be in constant contact with them, 
if you don't hear from them on the designated time you've told them to contact you, something's wrong. Um, I would suggest if they're old enough for an iPhone, keep their Find My iPhone on or uh, Find My Friends app. Do that. Psh, better believe I'd have one on my child. Also, something else, leaders of organizations can be predators. I mean, I hate to say it, but even Sunday school teachers can be predators, y'all. It's sad. It's sad. These are all people we commonly trust with our children. It's just not safe anymore. It's sad, but it's true. Okay. Um, I know this has been a very strange show. I apologize. It was my first time on camera, really by myself, and I wasn't really comfortable, and my voice is kind of shaky, so I promise you they're going to get better. My shows are going to get better and just hang in there. Um, I'm going to edit this, and hopefully it's going to make a lot of sense to y'all. Um, I do have a new email address. It's askrose at gmx.com. That's a new email address for Ask Rose. And by the way, this has been an episode of Ask Rose. If you subscribe to the No Filter channel, you will also be subscribing to the Ask Rose programs. And I thank you all for sharing this time with me. And I hope that you got some information out of this. And uh, I'll see you soon with another episode. Thanks. Bye.